A closed door meeting just wrapping up tonight between the heads of JBS Meatpacking Plant and the Workers Union. And Contact 7 Chief Investigator Tony Kowaleski has exposed countless safety concerns within that facility. He joins us now from Greeley with more on this. Tony? Yeah, good evening, Ann. It's been going on all day, just wrapped up. We were told by the union president nothing was accomplished. We'll hear more from her shortly. Bottom line, the focus was on employee safety. I think it's there's a miscommunication between JBS and the supervisors within the plant. Sylvia Martinez with Latinos Unidos has talked with several current JBS employees, talked about serious miscommunications between management and workers. JBS is saying, if you are sick, don't come to work. But within the plant, if a worker calls in, they're being threatened that they better or they're going to get fired. Many workers walked out Friday. These are pictures from inside the plant sent to us by employees. Some of those workers stayed away from the plant for a second day. The word is between 170 and 190 people have not shown to work. Uh, the concern is they uh, their hazard pay was removed and so they want it back. Also behind these closed doors, union leaders, workers and managers met in Greeley to discuss the current tensions, future pay, sick pay and workers health concerns. When we entered the meeting, we were immediately asked to leave. They want to be recognized as essential workers, as human beings that are risking their lives on a daily basis going into this plant and they want what's fair. And after eight hours of talking behind closed doors, they broke up about 5.15 this evening. We spoke with Union President Kim Cordova, asked her for an update. Here's what she had to say. Disgusted with the company that has put these workers through so much stress, so, so much harm, where workers have died here. I'm furious over it. I'm mad. Workers are mad. These workers here deserve so much more for everything that they sacrificed for this country. How did it end in there? shortly after five it ended by the co we told the company we were done that they needed to come back with a serious offer and that they needed to fix the safety issues in that plant so clearly a stalemate between both sides no word on when or if they'll return to the table reporting live in Greeley I'm chief investigative reporter Tony Kovaleski right, thank you Tony